Right now, the vehicle is passing through max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the airframe. The vehicle actually throttles itself down for this uh, portion of the flight in order to, re to reduce structural stresses. Uh, coming up at T plus 2 minutes and 19 seconds, kilometers. we're going to have a series of five events happening all very, very quickly together. Uh, that's going to be main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage second speed, engine speed, start, speed. boost back burn start, and fairing deploy. It's going to happen really fast, so uh, let's watch the views we have on your screen. 100. Coming up in about 10 seconds. Go. And there you have it. We had a successful main engine cutoff and then a good stage separation of that first stage. Uh, you can see the second stage Merlin vacuum engine lighting up right now, uh, heating up and preparing to boost that payload the rest of the way and towards its intended orbit. Stage one boost back is starting. You can see that fairing deploy on the right hand side of your screen right now. And there it is. Good fairing deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. What you're seeing on the left-hand side of your screen is a beautiful shot from the ground in California of the exhaust gases of that first stage. Viewers in California may be able to see this from outside. There it is. That's the start of the Stage landing. Stage one landing board has started. That Falcon 9 first stage should be approaching the ground just about in five seconds here. Let's watch as it attempts to land. Stage one, right at the point. And it appears that the Falcon 9 first stage has just stuck the landing at LZ-4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, this is great news for everyone here at SpaceX. Reminder that this is the first time we've ever landed a rocket first stage back at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, great news for everyone here. Uh, we're all extremely excited. Like I said, most of our team is at the launch site right now, and they must be out of their minds. So uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, right now, however, that is not the end of our mission today. The primary mission is still ongoing. On the center of your screen, you can see that Merlin vacuum engine attached to the second stage still uh, pushing the SOCOM 1A satellite into low Earth orbit. And there it is. You can see that that second stage engine has shut down. We're now waiting confirmation that the stage is in a good orbit, exactly where we intend it to be. Good. And we have confirmation of a good orbit. Uh, this is great news. That good means that there's only one more thing we have to do in order to get the SALCOM 1A satellite to its destination in orbit, and that is payload deployment. Right now, the SALCOM 1A payload is attached to the top of the second stage with a payload adapter fitting, which is holding on by way of some clamps and some small springs. Uh, when we give the signal to release the satellite at T plus 12 minutes and 39 seconds, give or take, uh, those clamps will release and the springs will give the SALCOM 1A uh, satellite a gentle push away from the top of the second stage. Uh, on your screen right now, you're looking from the top of the second stage towards the SALCOM 1A payload. 
Uh, that deployment's going to be happening in about 50 seconds, five zero seconds. Stand by for satellite separation in about 10 seconds. And there it is. Uh, you can see on your screen the Falcom 1A satellite gently gliding away from the top of the Falcon 9 second stage. Uh, this is fantastic news. Uh, this means that the Falcom 1A satellite has been put into its correct orbit and the mission of the...